Well, running for political office can be tricky if no one has ever heard your name before. I mean, a lot of money gets spent on these campaigns because before you can talk about those important issues, people need to know who you are. That's right. It is the first campaign for this man who is running for Phoenix City Council. And after you see this story, there's probably no way you'll forget his name. The campaign's flooded with seven candidates and you need to stand out. Now, CBS 5's Adam Longo is live in Phoenix, and Adam, his campaign slogan's so popular, all his campaign signs are apparently vanishing. This might be seen something that you'd expect to see hanging up inside of a fraternity house or a strip club. Not necessarily something you expect to see on the side of a busy Phoenix road. Have a look at this campaign sign and just let that soak in for just a minute. It's not just popular with the candidate, not just popular for people who have been walking by. That sign has actually been very popular with thieves as well. 21 of those signs were put up on Sunday. Seven of them have already been stolen. These signs have been, um, erected up and down Central Avenue. Austin Head? I don't get it. I love Head. Oh, that's pretty, uh... That's pretty strange. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I think that's his last name. Uh, I believe if you're not doing something interesting, then people are just going to ignore you. Phoenix oh, City yeah. Council candidate Austin Head. Yes, that's his real name. In order to get ahead, he decided, I love Head would be the best way to get his name in your head. He just wants to get people's attention so that they could see his name. Did it work? It did. We decided to go with this sign because of how much money the, the special interests have given my opponents. And that the only way we can combat it is doing something somewhat shocking. He's been outspent by two of his opponents, 15 to 1. So are these campaign signs funny, brilliant, offensive? It reminded me of some words that my friends used for certain things in high school um, that everyone was hoping to have happened in at one point in time. Oh, what's it referring to? That's that's the question. Oh. Hmm. So some people don't get it, but a lot of voters do get head. A lot of people calling for T-shirts, wanting me to print T-shirts and stickers and, and yard signs. And so far, no one's complaining about head or the signs. I think the constituents are smart enough to understand that it's a double entendre and it means no harm to anybody. Head isn't looking to be a lightning rod for controversy, but he has sparked plenty of interest by tickling a sensitive subject. A lot of people who aren't normally involved in politics are getting more involved now. Now, the timing of when these signs went up on Sunday was actually calculated purposely. That's because in Phoenix, people will start to receive their mail-in ballots in the mail tomorrow. And 90% of the votes that city estimates that will come in will actually be cast through the mail. So this will mean that the candidate is trying to get his, his name out there and the word out right as people are looking at those ballots in the mail. We're live in Phoenix tonight. Adam Longo, CBS 5 News.